DC here, hi guys and gals. Well, it is Christmas Eve. And uh, actually on Christmas Eve, the 24th, I know of two birthdays actually, my mother's. Well, happy birthday, mom. I'll chat with you later on. And there's also Jasmine's, so a happy birthday, Jasmine. Right now, I, uh, what time is it? It's a quarter past seven. I've been in the kitchen for a while. Because our family is having uh, our Christmas meal uh, today. So I have a small turkey. I'll just show it. It's, it's a small turkey. You know, it almost looks like a baby turkey. I say that because, you know, it's like 3.8 kilos. So that's eight and a half, approximately eight and a half pounds. So that's quite small. That's about half the size of the turkey that I, I usually would have. The reason is, is I'll be cooking it in in my instant pot. And so it's gonna fit in there. <laughs> and I know by experience now that that, that is the perfect size uh, for the instant pot. So let me see, I am getting the dressing or stuffing ready. I mean, I, if you don't put in the bird, if you don't put it in the bird, it's called dressing as such. So I make a variation of my sausage stuffing. So I've got the sausage meat here with the, the liver. And this actually, I'm kind of happy. This time the turkey came with the uh, giblets. Sometimes they don't. I just add, uh, I just add some liver or something like that. And But uh, yeah, I mean, it's... Uh, getting ready. It's going to be a, a lot of stuff with the Instant Pot. I'm going to have uh, chestnuts, glazed chestnuts uh, uh, with, uh, and then there'll be carrots and parsnip. Yes, Jasmine, parsnip. No Brussels sprouts. Uh, and uh, we will have uh, peas and I'll make a gravy from, uh, well, from the liquid that comes from the turkey and so on. And uh, mashed potatoes but i always make mashed potatoes and mash uh, together with uh, uh what do you call it now celery act so that's like the root celery so uh not, not the branch celery but the the root so i mix that together and it's really really nice and the mashed potatoes have a lot of parsley in it and uh, cream and so on and uh what else well the dessert mrs dc we, we bought actually some a roll, um, a roll cake, but Mrs. DC made a really nice blueberry mousse with gelatin and stuff like that. It's kind of close to a trifle in a way, and uh, with meringues and stuff like that. So it's kind of a mixture somewhere between a trifle and a pavlova. So it's kind of nice, but that's in the fridge. I can't show it to you. Uh, yeah, so it's going to be a, a busy day. So they're going to be coming around a bit before a bit before lunch so we'll have some drinks and uh, I got a bit of things to snack on a bit of cheese and so on so we'll be snacking and usually they snack while I finish off the meal as you've noticed I mean it's uh, it's it's a it's a shared thing but I'm the one that usually cooks the uh, the main meals and I like it it's it's really part of uh, part of me and it's been part of our family tradition for years so yeah that's nice i turned down the music i got some music in the background but i turned it down really low i wouldn't like you know that in the middle of this log all of a sudden youtube says hey you've got music there so let's hope that it doesn't bother yeah so like i said it's going to be an instant pot meal there's a few well i mean that's the stuff i still need for cooking and uh, what I do when I make the stuffing or the dressing because it's not in the bird I cover the dressing I cover the dressing with uh, oops, that's, uh, I cover the dressing with uh, chicken necks uh, I only need one yeah, was one hand enough not quite just a minute I'm holding the camera in one and working with the other Okay, I'm just browning, I'm just giving a bit of color to the meat because it's the it's a pork sausage, which I've removed the, the casings, and it's a turkey's liver. Yeah, so 
but you see it's just gonna and then what I do is I add I'll probably add some nuts to it and or some raisins and fine and a lot of sage a lot of sage salt pepper of course but sage is the uh, is a secret ingredient to stuffings or dressings and you need a lot of it yeah anyway so I hope you're gonna have a great Christmas I, I, I really hope that ours will be nice we're we've going through also a uh, I was going to say a paradigm shift. I made I made presents for the family. I made uh, calendars with the with the year uh, pictures of the year, but pretty much no other presents. I mean, uh, we've always said to the kids, you know, like uh, finally, as far as we're concerned, we don't really need anything, and uh, we bought, of course, presents for the grandkids. But when you think about it, usually over the year, if somebody needs something, you pretty much give it to them or help them. And so we've said, you know, I've, I've told them as well, we should really all, you know, be careful not to spend too much money on presents. Anyway, that's not the reason for the season. And uh, it'll help our pocketbooks. <laughs> I guess that's the retired man speaking. But you know what? Uh, in today's world, our kids are actually financially not so well off maybe as we were. That's uh, today's economy is not an easy thing. So we got to take those into account, you know. Also, I mean the the social. I was going to say the the whole social pressure of consuming. You don't want to put yourself in debt. Well, I mean, I wouldn't put myself in debt for that, but yeah. Other things are heat pump is working. We're heating with it now. Our hot water is with it. And I have put a fortune in there up to now. It's not finished, but uh, it's getting there. But I'm happy with it. I mean, it's a very modern and quiet system okay that's enough it's only supposed to it's not actually browning you're only supposed to make it pink is this going to continue cooking okay turn that off yeah so it's going to continue cooking uh, of course in the instant pot after so i gotta i'm using breadcrumbs this time sometimes what i use i i use a uh, uh ground breadcrumbs or something like that but uh, I found it in the instant pot this is probably a better solution so I made them yesterday and I dried and air dried them simply for 24 hours yeah is there anything else not really actually I just hope that you all have a great Christmas period I probably won't chat tomorrow but uh, wishing you all the best for Christmas uh, love if you can have a good drink good food and um, relax you know just uh, I mean even if it's not your reason for the season uh, now Christmas is a day off and you know just at least relax and take care of yourself okay DC signing off and may God bless you Bye.